The future is changing. People are living longer and there are more and more elderly people. And they are healthier, more alert and considerably more active than previous generations have ever been. And above all, they have no intention of giving up driving their cars. Well, I don't have any impairments and I have perfect vision. As you'll notice, I'm not wearing glasses, so my reflexes are still very, very good. And uh, I don't intend to be taken off the road by anyone. <laughs> but... Birthdays do not kill. Health conditions do. My opinion is that we should look at health throughout the lifespan as a predictor of being able to drive. For several years, Volvo Cars has actively carried out research to gain more knowledge about how we change as a motorist when we become older. By gaining knowledge about the, the behavioural pattern of drivers, we can create solutions and design the car accordingly in order to assist them or help them. In order to understand how drivers think and what they focus on, special cameras are used that follow the driver's eyes. Elderly people looked more on lines on the road to position the car and they didn't pay that much attention to other vehicles. Uh, on the other way, young people did look more on uh, dynamic objects like other cars coming inside the intersection. In this study, which is based on a large number of tests and which has been carried out in conjunction with the Swedish National Road and Transport Research Institute, they have compared both older and younger drivers and have reached the conclusion that it is in fact a myth that older drivers are both more dangerous in traffic and worse drivers. Uh, it's generally the, the younger population that are more involved in collisions. Uh, however, there are exemptions like intersections and complex traffic scenarios where we see that the older people are overrepresented and we need to try to understand why that is. Here in the USA, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety in Washington, D.C., has also investigated whether or not older people are more prone to have accidents than others. A few years back, we were predicting that uh, we were going to see continuing increases in the number of older people involved in serious crashes and being injured in those crashes. But in fact, what we've seen is that although more older people are driving, we're actually seeing a downturn in the older people being involved in serious and particularly fatal uh, crashes. In fact, what we should be looking at is what are those technologies that can compensate for reduce, uh, reductions in vision, warning systems that can compensate for frankly there's more cars on the road, as well as how quickly we can respond. 